Right, hello YouTube. This is the final box from the attic, but not from the attic. This is actually from my brother's cellar because he took he took these minis, um, some of which were mine, some of which were his, and got separated from mine. So we're gonna open this up today. I've not looked in here. I do know a few things that are in here because I was pretty sure I had some stuff that was missing. So I do know some of it, but some of it I think uh, might be a bit of a surprise as well. So we're gonna see. Okay, oh, it's well packed, isn't it? A lot better packed than my stuff. Okay, I'm gonna shift this out of the way and we're gonna pull some stuff out. Okay, first thing, so I can see a bunch of paper card stuff on top here. This, pop it all down there. These are from Necromunda Outlander, I think. Most of the um, paper barricades I had got destroyed in the attic because it was a bit damp in my parents' attic and they all basically disintegrated. So this stuff must have been packed a little better. Got some barricades, all different sizes. I think these, I'm not sure what they're from. They might be Necromander as well, but I'm not entirely sure. They almost look like it could be Space Hulk or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, one fell apart. Not sure what that's from. Oh, yes I am. It's from one of these. So, there you go. Yes, yeah, so I've only got one of those by the looks of it. Good luck. Come on. There we go. And there's one more. Nope, two more. Oh, I've got loads of those. And that's from the... I don't know, that's... I can't see another one in there. No, okay. Right, let's start on this other stuff then. Okay, let's just do them from the top. So we've got a lovely takeaway, miniatures takeaway. I can see some grey in there. Let's have a look. Oh. Headphone users beware. Oh, so it looks like quite a lot of chaos, old chaos, plastic chaos. And oh, I can't remember what these things are called, but my God, that is a huge, huge chunk of lead or white metal it probably is. I don't know, but those things are massive. I didn't remember painting that. He should have a rider in there. I can't remember what these things were called. Well, there it is. I remember looking on eBay because I remember I had one of these and they, they must have sold loads of them because they didn't they didn't go for anything. They were really cheap. Considering the amount of lead in them, you think they'd be, be a bit more. He's pretty cool. I didn't realize I painted him. Same story as last time when I opened all my other models. I was like, did I paint them? I didn't think I painted them. And then there's some very odd things in here, which we'll get to in a minute. Got a bunch of these old berserkers in various states of disrepair and paint. Some painted more than others. Put the freehand on there. This guy, this guy I did some battle damage on. I think I did this with a soldering iron. I'm not sure my dad knew I took that. <laughs> There's, yeah, a ton more of these in here. Looks like a whole squad. He's got a, this guy's got a flamer, flame pistol. Some more chunks. Let's get the rest of those out of there and show you these these other two that are in here. This, let's start with this guy because he's actual chaos. I'm not sure what this guy was meant to be. I think I'd seen something in a in White Dwarf that looked like this and I tried to recreate it very, very badly. I don't know if he's a, he's got the chevrons. I can't remember. But yeah, he's he's pretty badly converted. And then this thing, I forgot I'd even made this. This was a long time ago. This might be Fimo. This 
these sculpted bits. It might have been baked in the oven, I'm not sure. It's got some Eldar arms. An Eldar weapon, and the body looks like... That's an old... That's the old plastic marines in there, I think. The RTB1s, is it? Under there? And then I just <laughs> very crudely made him into some sort of snake person. Or lizard person, maybe? That was wild. And we've got another arm in there. Right, let's move on. Okay, let's go for this next top one then. What can we see in there? Uh, not sure. Ugh. Didn't want to come open. Oh, oh okay. We've got some necromander, some necromander goodies in here. Some barrels and some goliaths and my rats. Some of my rat skins. I don't know if that's all of them. Let's get a few of these out. Have a look. We've got loads of barrels. I think these are Gorkamorka barrels. That one's seen better days. Ooh. Painted Gorkamork, I think. Morka. Morka. Mork. Mork. Morka rolls. Or rule? Because I couldn't spell. I suppose it's supposed to be orky, isn't it? This. See that? This way up. <laughs> so uh, this, I don't know, I'll just pull this out because I don't know what it is. I think, I can't believe my brother made this, but he's given it to me. I think he's supposed to be a pit slave. And these, um, these mechanical bits on the side. These are actually recovered from um, a disposable camera. I don't know if kids kids these days won't know what a disposable camera is, but um, oh, his hair is cool, isn't it? All the cables and wires sticking up the top. It's actually not a bad conversion from my brother. It's on an old Orlock. Uh, let's put these separate. And then we've got just, I mean, he's been, he's seen better days and he? he's been hacked to pieces for parts. Let's pull these out because most of them are in pretty bad rep. Oh, that's got some very realistic rust on that wire. Oh, he's got more Eldar guns on his back and a big knife. Yeah, these are very, very dodgy conversions. <laughs> <laughs> Two bolters stuck together with two spare mags stuck to it. And these just these just push fit on the just push fit on the arms pretty well. That looks so stupid. It's <laughs> <laughs> a couple of those dodgy looking weapon conversions. Looks like an old auto pistol stuck to the bottom of that. What were we thinking, eh? Kids. This one. <laughs> I mean, why? Why would I? Why did I do that? Knifey McKnife hand. This is another butchered auto gun. We got now these. These are exhausts missing off. Um, if you saw one of my earlier videos, I had a rhino with various bits and pieces, an orc rhino, and I think these are missing from that. I can see a bit of lead in there. What's that? Ah, this is the other thing that's missing from that rhino. I had an auto gun missing off one of the sponsons. And we've got, uh, I think this guy's a bounty hunter. Very nice model. Yeah, I think he's just a bounty hunter with a bionic arm. Really like that one. Quite looking forward to painting him. 
Looks like he's had a light undercoat of white paint and either the cans run out or someone's given up halfway through. Okay. Now these are my rat skins. I love the rat skins. Not great paint jobs on them, but they did get painted. Kid. Kid written on the arm. They're cool, aren't they? Look at that. Imagine taking just a tiny little bow into battle. I mean, look, they're not the worst paint jobs ever, but I don't think I was trying very hard. Neon pink tails. Oh, I love this guy. He was so cool. It's a really lovely sort of pink, grey, blue on that casing of the stub gun. Scared little face. <laughs> Looks like he's just about to tread on a mine. Oh, based as well. Oh, he says as a base falls off. It's classic timing. This guy's just got a musket. Great, great sculpts, aren't they? I really love the rat skins. I'll save my favourites till last. A little more the Jews. I think the Jews had a special name for the rat skins, but I don't remember. Then we got. Is it. I think you had a leader and a shaman, didn't you? In memory. Auto gun, double barrel shotgun, sword. It's pretty cool. Pretty sure the shamans had interesting rules, but I can't remember. Again, more shotguns. Very cool models. And then there's this dude. He was my favourite. I think he might not have come with the original set. I think he might have been an extra one. A uh, scout that you could buy. I can't remember if they released him before the full rat skin release or not. I just thought that was a really great pose. He felt really ratty, if you know what I mean. Oh, and there's a random uh, cherry can in there. Right, let's move that out of the way and get on to the next one. Oh, where should we go next? We've got three left. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, where we there? Can we peek inside? I can see something that looks old. Ooh, 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 interesting. There's a <laughs> whole heap of crazy stuff in there. You've got an old, I have no idea why I have a jet bike. Absolutely no idea why I have that. I just think maybe I thought they looked cool when I bought one. Or maybe it came free on something, or someone gave it to me, I have no idea. Some of the early, early plastics. I see it's gone sort of brown on the edges, it's really weird. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's melting, I think it's just showing its age. It's probably been left in the sun a few times. Some more, some metal berserkers here. I really love that sculpt. I mean, why you'd have half your legs in your arm out, I don't know, but I still think it's a cool model. I'm not sure what he's trying to prove. We've got another one. Is that the same sculpt? Yeah. Minus the backpack. I think I very briefly collected Chaos, <laughs> amongst other things. This guy doesn't have a base. Zinch. 1990. I think this is my brother's that he's given me. It's a cool model. I can't remember what those guys are called, but I can't see his base in there, so I've got this. I was hoping this was in here. 
because this is a very, very old squat. I don't know if it's a commons, a commons guy or what. But this guy was actually painted by my dad. He wanted something to paint because we were painting and he had a go. So this is painted straight onto the metal. There's no primer under there. He actually didn't do a bad job. Couldn't remember how um <laughs> some ancient blue tack holding him in the bottom. They all used to wobble really, really badly. Oh, it's gone rock hard. Oh, I love that mini. I have to decide whether to strip him or not. Because I really want to paint him. <laughs> He's got nostalgic value. And this. Oh, that's missing a part. This guy's missing a bit. He should have a sword or something coming out of here. So this is a sort of one-footed leg creature. I think it's based on the Ed, the Ed 209 from Robocop. He's got an orc, an orc shoulder pad there. I think that's one from, from one of the really big orcs. That, that's a backpack. If you can see that. Bad light. That's a backpack that should be this way up. And this is a bit of cable I've just rammed in there, I think. But yeah, there's something missing from there. I think you can see where it's not painted. It's a skeleton. Man, that's a weird conversion. Of course, we've got uh, shoulder pads for the foot. Crazy. I think it stands up. No, maybe not. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, not terrible. I'm wondering if that base is in there. No. You may need to find him a new base. Right. Two more to go. Just go have a drink of coffee. We're back. We're on the penultimate penultimate box. Have a peek in there. I'm not sure. That's, I think we've got some Eldar in here. Yes. Ooh. A little baggy with a. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. That's a shuriken pistol. That's been cut off and kept, which is nice. Means I might be able to repair whoever that got cut off. Where do we start with these Harlequins now? These guys are awesome. I still think these are amazing sculpts. Is that a Reaper? I really can't remember. These um, these were painted straight onto the metal with inks. Yeah, I mean, who would think that was a good idea, right? Didn't realise you're actually supposed to do something before putting the inks on. But these are some of our oldest. We had these when we were really young, me and my brother. <laughs> you can see just bits like flaking off. They're such cool models. Sucker for anything with a power fist or a power claw. Oh, I'll show you all of these because they're such cool sculpts. Another Reaper. They've got little servo arms holding up the gun. It's pretty big. Some bases and all sorts in here. They got three of those, did we? Another one. Super cool models. Really love these. Still think they hold up really well, actually, just because they're so different and interesting. I've got uh, warp spiders in there as well, much newer. That's a bit of a boring one. Let's see what else we got? <laughs> Some classic tassels going on there. I don't think there's any repeats in here from memory. This guy, I think this is where that um, weapon came from. I think I upgraded him. But I think I'm going to probably take that off and put the old one back on there. 
Jazzy sword. Whoa, it's an interesting weapon. This is a web shooter, maybe. These two are pretty simple. Sorry, locking the camera. I'd love to paint these. Not sure what I'm going to do with them though, to be honest. I've got so many things I could paint. And these would have to be such an interesting job because they're such interesting. They'd all have to have crazy colours and stuff. I'm tempted to sell them just because there's so many of them and I'd have to paint all of them so we've got one normal um, these called web spiders or I can't remember I really liked them I thought they were such cool such a cool idea such cool guns and backpacks and sort of extra extra limbs they had and then this was the I can't remember what his name was either it's the Topic of today's video. Can't remember the name of anyone. This guy was really cool. I just love these big sword things coming off his hands. But it's really cool. Warp spiders? Yeah. Okay. That's that one. Just I can just see these peeking through now. Just more of those pits. Some random bubble wrap. And the last box, which looks like it's got orcs, some more key stuff. Some old stuff. Let's. I think this is a bit of a, a bit of a mixture. God. Yeah, it wasn't wrong. Now this guy's really interesting. Can't quite remember the story behind this guy. He pushes some sort of battle wagon or something. A chaos dwarf, and he pushed some sort of catapult. If I look it up, I'll stick it on screen when we do it. When I edit it, he's such an interesting mini. I've got a feeling he might have some value, although without his the rest of the bits that go with him, I'm not so sure. Oh, he instantly fell over. Let's see, we've got a load of these Gretchen in here. Is this? Second edition plastic Gretchen. They're all painted, so really super neon skin. Looks like I've just chucked some sort of dirty wash on all of them. Yeah, there's not much to see there, to be honest. They're all the same. Oh, I tell it a lie. That guy's a bayonet. <laughs> right, so this guy, he's from my Witchfinders. Apparently he was sat in the bits, bits box waiting to be repaired and it looks like my brother did the repair. Glued his sword back on for me. Crazy pointy hats. So yeah, nice double handed sword there. And these two are pretty ancient chaos models. These are all rogue trader era that have been unfortunately a little bit abused. This guy wasn't my favourite, but he's pretty cool. And as you can see, we didn't like his left arm, so that's gone. Got a sort of bionic foot. And this guy, this guy's one of my favourites. The Mad Max style little dude controlling the big dude. He's got a really interesting, the, um, looks like some of the Titans had this sort of thing. The chain, it's like a chain axe fist, chain axe arm. And he had a sort of, even though these were originally, um, Chaos uh, Warhammer, not 40k. 
he actually had a lot of mechanical parts. And then on here was a mace, a sort of studded mace. And uh, I wanted to make him look fully 40k, so I added the uh, bolt pistol there, which isn't terribly put on, but it's not great either. But yeah, I don't have the mace, so when I paint him up, that bolt pistol's just going to stay on there. But I can't, I'm looking forward to doing him because I really like this one. It's a good one to end on, one of my favourites. So I was really hoping I had this guy in here, and I was really hoping I had, where's he going? Squat. So I really love these two, especially with Squat's coming back. I know he's not going to fit in with them, but he's, he's still a really cool model. And uh, yeah, glad to have the Ratskins. I'll have to have a think about what I do with the uh, Harlequins. They're really cool, but I think they've probably got a bit of value, so might be better off selling those. Probably same with the Chaos, really, because I don't really know what I'll do with the Chaos. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. It's nice to have everything reunited at last. And thank you to my brother who um, dropped them around and uh, donated a few miniatures as well that he didn't want. So that's cool. All right, see you YouTube. Remember to click all the things, like and subscribe, etc. for more. There won't be any more of these attic videos because this is the final one, but there'll be some more interesting stuff coming up. See you.